What's going on guys? I am out here at Ron Hoover RV and Marine in Corpus Christi, Texas, and I'm going to show you what has to be just about the tallest travel trailer I have ever seen with one of the coolest interiors. Not because of the layout, but because of the scheme that they went with. So hang tight, you're going to want to see this. All right, so when looking at it from the outside, you can tell right off the bat, it's about a foot and a half taller than this standard height hideout. That is really special because typically travel trailers don't come this tall. Let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 11,995 pounds, runs on 5,800 pound axles, and it has 1,023 pound of cargo capacity. This is a huge and a heavy travel trailer. Taking a look back here at the axles, you can see it utilizes the Moride Cree 3000 suspension system. You also have a rack and pinion slide back here, and it has the Goodyear Endurance tires on it. Even the front slide is a rack and pinion slide, and it even has auto leveling on it as well, which is very cool. This unit comes equipped with the Thetford Santacon Turbo, which is essentially like a, a waste crusher destroyer that helps it flush out a lot easier so you don't really have to ever deal with clogs in your black tank. It's parked right up against this Class C, so I can't show you too much of the back, but you can see that it has all frameless windows as well as LED lighting, and it is wired for Fury on backup camera. But you can also just see how tall this is. It's probably a good foot and a half taller. So not only does it have the 12 inch I-beam that goes all the way down, it also has, again, the auto leveling system, which is really nice. I love the fact that it has this tray up front, which is actually designed so you can throw a generator or whatever you need to really throw up here in this space. Very large area for storage or whatever might need to go here, including your batteries. Dual propane tanks, power tongue jack. I do wish it had one of the memory power tongue jacks. Unit this large, this size, and this price should probably have it. Let's take a look at this front storage. One of the first times I've seen slam latches on a travel trailer as well. Has a huge pass-through storage. You can see the aluminum framework here, but this pass-through storage is probably three feet wide by three feet tall. One of the largest I've seen in a travel trailer of any size. This is a laminated sidewall. Again, frameless windows. Has the speakers out here. Also has the Moride step above step system. Over here, you're going to have your outside kitchen area. Right here is your outside kitchen area with a cooktop under here. Bottle opener right there. And a micro fridge. Let's take a look inside of this 332 CBOK. So what you're going to notice right off the bat is the interesting choice in wood tone. So it mixes both dark and light wood tone. I think this interior looks amazing. It really stands out from the crowd when you typically see just dark tones or just light tones, but you never really see a mixture. Here you have your dark wood tone accents, you have your light wood tone accents, you have your dark countertops. In the back you have your dark tones, plus you have a mirror that's already above the love seat area. Recliners right here, again, light tone. This isn't leather, this is more of like a a vinyl fabric material, but it's really nice. Dark tone table, really nice light cushions. This is just really nice. Take a look at these fixtures. Plus they include pictures on the wall. Residential whirlpool, side-by-side -side refrigerator. Take a look at this countertop area. This sink area is amazing. It looks really nice and I love the fact that it's cornered right at these windows. So think about it, if you're backed up to a lake, if you're backed up to a river, you can look out right from the kitchen area whenever you're cooking and just see the beautiful landscape there. I love the little wood beam accents here. This is just a really nice looking travel trailer. This is probably the nicest interior I've seen on a travel trailer. I love the little L shape they got going on here directly in front of the TV, which gives you that very nice rear living room type setup. Plus. The island is also a bar, so you have two bar stools underneath here for even more people to enjoy. That's going to fold out into a bed. This has a standard chair and table dinette, so you really can't use that as a bed, but you'll be able to sleep two here and two in the bedroom. Going back into the bedroom area, 
The king size bed in this room is on a full length slide, which means you have a tremendous amount of room here between the end of the bed and the dresser. TV's hung above it, dark cabinetry in here all around. It has a very nice executive high end feel to the bedroom. It has its own AC unit up here as well, but you have a ton of room down here. I mean, this is just really awesome to have this much room at the end of your bed. Very, very nice ceiling heights as well. One of the tallest travel trailers I've ever been in. It probably is about seven and a half, almost eight feet tall ceilings. And I love how they've actually concealed the controls behind this cabinet. So you have all your slide controls, tank monitoring, all of that, as well as the ability to monitor all of that from this little LCI touchpad. And it is wired for solar. And another very surprising area is the bathroom. This has an incredible bathroom. One of the very few travel trailer bathrooms that I can say beats most fifth wheels. Take a look at this huge, huge shower area. This is gigantic. This is a residential size shower assembly inside of a travel trailer, something you really don't ever see. Look at this cabinet and countertop space. This is amazing. White cabinets, really nice medicine cabinet, a lot of countertop space, a lot of foot room here as well. Just a tremendously well-designed bathroom in a travel trailer. When people ask me, what type of travel trailer would you haul behind a dually pickup truck? You're looking at it. This is absolutely the type of travel trailer that I would recommend a dually to haul with. Not that you need it. You could do this with a one ton single rear wheel truck. The reason why I suggest a dually is because the extra tires and the extra width will help fight any type of sway scenario you might find yourself in. Just that extra traction on the road. And that's why I would probably recommend a dually if you were gonna haul something this large, this long, this tall, and this heavy. But yep. I think I found my favorite travel trailer floor plan. This is super cool. And as soon as I find out what the pricing is, I'll also include it in the video. But I can imagine this thing's probably going to be in the high 40s to maybe even the low 50s. Because this is really where someone who wants a travel trailer and not really a fifth wheel, but they want the interior, they want the upgrades and the decor of a high-end fifth wheel, this is what you might want to look at. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.